Hi, everybody. I'm Vance Stevens. Uh, I'm in Penang, Malaysia. This is May 2021, and I'm getting ready for the uh, EVO Electronic Village Online 20th Anniversary Cal IS Computer Assisted Language Learning Intersection webinar, which is on May 26th. So uh, I'm supposed to give a six minute, or I should say I have six minutes to give a presentation. I have a lot more to say than that. So I'm going to say it now and put the recording up that people can watch later if they want to catch the whole thing. Okay, let me start my screen share here. There we go. A little glitch while I get it presenting. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to talk about WebEds in action and Electronic Village Online, truly lifelong learning because I've been doing this for 20 years and also before that with Computer Assisted Language Learning Interest section. So I'm going to kind of race through these slides, but you can read here everything, all the links are, well, there's a slide deck link here. All the links are uh, uh, clickable. So. First of all, this uh, my experience with the people in EVO starts with Cal IS. Well, actually, it starts with our going to TESOL conferences together, and eventually um, starting Cal IS, Computer Assisted Language Learning Interest Section, in 1985. If you want to read about that, you can read uh, that article that I wrote and explain about how that got started. But just for dates, that's. Um, that's when it began. Now, I co-founded Cal IS with Roger Kenner, and Roger Kenner left great records at the, at, which are now preserved at the calis.org webpage. So, uh, Roger recorded when people became stream committee members, and the pictures that I'm using here are from my Webheads in Action webpage. I said, and you'll, I'll tell you about Webheads in Action, which started in 2002 in a moment. But just to get the perspective on what was going on uh, at, on the TESOL side of it, uh, Elizabeth Hansen Smith, whose picture you see there, uh, was one of the uh, uh, founders of uh, Electronic Village Online, and she joined the Cal IS Steering Committee in 1989. And then Tom Robb, also another other of the founders, um, joined the steering committee in 1997, according to um, uh, Roger's records. And then Christine Bauer Ramazani, who began Cal IS in 2001, joined the Introspection Steering Committee in that year as well. And then Joanne Miller, who was also a founding member of EVO, or one of its first moderators, I should say. Um, joined uh, this, uh, became a Cal IS Steering Committee member in 2006. This is all significant because I'm trying to show the relationships between the people here. So when uh, Christine, Susan Gare, and Tom Robb started the Electronic Village Online uh, in 2000, technically, but in 2001, they launched the first set of sessions. Uh, this is who they are. This is Tom, this is Susan, and this is Christine. And again, these uh, photographs are from the WebEds in Action webpage. And we'll get to that in a minute. In 2002, I gave the WebEds in Action uh, EVO session. In 2003, they asked me to join the, um, the, the uh, EVO online coordinating team. So basically, I've been more or less on the team ever since then, 2003. Uh, Joanne Miller was also on that team that year, and she joined Webheads in Action in 2004. So we didn't get her picture, though, but she was a Webheads in Action member. So see the connections. Now, Webheads in Action started actually in about 1998, maybe even earlier, with uh, writing for Webheads, <clears throat> which was something uh, when I went to California to um, uh, to develop software, I missed teaching. I found a somebody there, Dave Wynette, who had set up something called study.com, and he was getting students to sign up by email for English courses, 
with volunteer teachers. So I volunteered to do one of these things. And eventually we kind of moved, I, I moved to the UAE and uh, I met up with Michael Coughlin and um, uh, Matt, Maggie Doty. And um, we formed, well, we, we pooled our students together and I created something called uh, Writing for Webheads. The, the course name was uh, Writing and Grammar. But we quickly found out that people didn't really want to come and study writing and grammar. They wanted to come and socialize. And so I developed a website uh, in the web one days. So I had to put all the posters, posts up myself, where I had the students would write and they would communicate with each other uh, in email. And other ways, we also we met each week and we communicated in all kinds of different ways, computer mediated communication ways that um, we created this community and people started sending photos. And a lot of the people in this picture, this is the uh, portal page and you can actually, you can, you can go visit it yourself if you like. But most of these people are students or a lot of, a lot of them are students, but it's uh, teachers became involved with what we were doing because we were talking to students live online and presenting at conferences and things like that. So the students were there to socialize, learn English, and form a really nice community. The teachers were there to uh, to learn, to to associate with us, and to, to learn how that worked. Now the the boxes here are people who eventually became EVO moderators. So these people were back in the original writing for webheads group. Okay, so now, in two thousand two, I created a. A, uh, an EVO session, which was designed to replicate that as a model for how teachers could do the same thing. And so we just did basically the same thing. I put up a web point one site because we're in 2000, uh, 2002. Well, we formed, we had more tools. We had more web two tools to use at that time. But anyway, basically, uh, these are the people whose photographs, who sent in photographs and whose photographs were posted on this site. And the link is at the bottom here. You can reach it at webheads.info, uh, webheads.info, webheads yeah. <laughs> you can reach it there. So now um, the people who are marked here in red are people who are presenting at the EVO 20th anniversary um, celebration in, uh, in this webinar. Now, so this formed a community of practice. Now, at the time we started it, we didn't know much about communities of practice. This was an idea created by Lav and Wenger in uh, uh, an article on situated learning in 1991. They coined the term communities of practice, but we began to realize that we were forming a community of practice. It was a new idea at the time. I made the webheads in action session focus on communities of practice in 2003 and in 2003 we went to the TESOL conference and we presented there a lot of us were there it was hybrid a lot of us were there at the conference and a lot of us presented online so now i i thought this was a nice fascinating topic but other people had other ideas so um in 2004 uh, because I, I, I started something called multiliteracy. So I was kind of moving on from webheads in action, but people thought that was a nice idea. Let's keep that going. And uh, so a couple of people, uh, Daphne, Teresa, whose arrows are there, and Mariana Hordano, uh, created a, a webheads in action, uh, becoming a webhead, sorry, becoming a webhead session in 2004 and they ran it for 10 years. But another interesting thing here is that Daphne, the next year in 2005 became an EVO coordinator. Also Mariana, uh, sorry, Maria, Maria Hordano became an EVO, uh, an EVO coordinator. So uh, the 2004 online team, all of the people who were running it were, uh, were in the web as an action community. Okay, so I'll see if I can skip more quickly now just to show you, this is the trend though that's happening. I'm trying to show you the, how people, webheads, the community of practice are 
uh, integrating with Electronic Village Online. So in 2006, uh, Buthena Ahman and Mariana Burgos and Susan Morandi joined the EVO coordinating team. And they had also, these are pictures from their Web as an Action uh, portal page. And also in uh, 2007, Paula Emmert, uh, we didn't have her picture, but she joined Web as an Action in 2005. So a lot of these people were coming up through, through um, Web as an Action. In fact, all of them are, apart from Nicholas, I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, so you can see there's a strong relationship between Webheads and Action, or Webheads, just call it Webheads, and, uh, uh, and the coordination team. So 2008, Maura Hunter joined us. There's her, um, her uh, uh, Webheads portal picture. I call it a gallery picture. It's a gallery. A gallery turned up in many you know, in the Second Life uh, builds and things like that. But anyway, Jane Petrine joined us in 2004. She, we didn't get her picture at the time. We met her since then at conferences. She's quite a lot of fun. Carla Arenas joined us in the 2009, and also Lane Marshall. Um, okay, so in 2010 and 2011, you can see that the names here are pretty much all webheads in action, except for Rubena. She probably was in the webheads in action, but uh, uh, she came in through Daphne. So yeah, every, everybody else here is, uh, is, is a webhead. But another thing in that year, in 2011, I started, I stopped maintaining the web.1 page. So I started running out of pictures after that. Um, in 2012 and 13, 2000, 12, this is 2012. Oh, yeah, 2012, Nina Liakos um, had, been, had been in the Becoming a Webhead session in 2006, and she uh, decided at this time to take her place on the coordinating team. Um, so, anyway, the, so, uh, and Hilly Lalitush, also a Webhead and a Webhead's uh, joiner in, two, in 2009, she became on the team. All right, so going over to 2014, something else significant happened, and I want to talk about this for a second because it's a community of practice evidence. So I mentioned that becoming a webhead had started, had gone from 2004 to 2013. And then the moderators there thought 10 years was a good long time to spend on a project, and we thank them very much. And they relinquished that spot, and then another group came along. Uh, calling itself ICT for ELT. And they basically ran the same model. They used, they were focusing on CMC tools. They um, had a community, same community of practice spirit. And notice also that Larissa Olesova was one of the becoming a webhead moderators in 2013. And in 2014, she was a moderator of uh, uh, ICT for ELT. Um, Ayat, Jose, Larissa, Maria, and uh, Maria Bosa, and Mubarak Akata were also uh, EVO on the moderated team later on. Okay, so uh, going to 2014 now, uh, Mubarak joined the EVO moderator team, as did. Um, uh, Jose, and um, Elizabeth Ann, who was also Web Edits in Action, uh, joined the moderating team. Uh, Nina was on the moderating team for both years, 2014, 2015. And then Nellie Deutsch joined us in 2015. Also, there's her original Web Edits in Action, actually uh, writing for Web Edits, uh, picture. 2016, uh, we had a lot of other people now who were webheads, uh, but came along, as you can see, after 2011. So we didn't have their pictures. But Ayat Tawell, uh, Mariana Schmolpsitz, um, Maria Bosa, um, Carolina Buitrago, and uh, Natasa uh, joined us in uh, those two years on the coordinating team. And uh, so, again, the coordinating team is still pretty full of webheads. Oh, we're all webheads. 2018-19, uh, 
Senya uh, Bozanovitz uh, joined us. And in, in 2018, actually, she joined us. And she, she had joined WebEds in Action originally in 2009. But I think she, because we had moved over to uh, Groups IO. By the way, all these years are preserved in Groups IO. We ported the Yahoo groups uh, for WebEds in Action into Groups IO. And the records are still there. They preserved when people joined. So it's interesting how these Web2 tools help us to keep track of who we are and where we've been. So bringing us up pretty currently now, uh, Larissa, you remember her? She was a, becoming a Webhead uh, member and then she joined ICT for ELT. And in 2020, she joined the coordinating team and she's still here in uh, 2021. Okay, she joined in 2016, Webheads in Action officially, or signed up for it to uh, we're going to talk about who's a webhead in a minute. Just for the team next year, Doris Molero, who joined webheads in 2005 and has been a long time participant in webheads in action, um, is now on the coordinating team. So we're picking up people from other uh, uh, entry points, but still, we, we uh, webheads in action, you can see, is a strong community of practice that's formed, uh, that's been uh, interleaved with Electronic Village Online. Okay, so question is, well, you're an EVO, are you a webhead? Of course you're a webhead. You may not be a card carrying webhead, and if you wanted to be one, you have to make your own like I did. Um, but you can join webheads if you want. We have the Groups IO list, which is, uh, you can join it, uh, it's not, particularly active. It's more, more more activity on the WebEd's Facebook page, but you don't have to join because you already are one. So Christina Costa, one of our original WebEd's, this is her uh, uh, original picture from the WebEd's gallery. Um, she said, she tweeted me as having said that being a WebEd is a kind of hippie. You know, when you meet one, and she said, yeah, so cool, so true. So yeah, so if you see someone and your eyes are sparkling from across the room, you're probably a webhead. All right, well, if you wanna read more about webheads, there's a short reading list. This is the link to the slide deck. And as we always say, once a webhead, always a webhead. I'll leave you with that. Well, thank you very much. Bye everybody. Oh, I'm wearing my Webheads t-shirt. Okay, bye. <laughs>